Right, here we are in the workshop again. Um, I'm, at, I'm at the other end, so there isn't as much light, so I've got a couple of daylight lights uh, at the side of this printer, so when you see the two white things stuck up, don't take any notice, you don't need them. They're just extra lighting. We're going to put this CIS onto a uh, HP PSC 1510. The PSC 1510. We're going to put this CIS on it pretty quickly as well, so it's quite an easy one to do. Right, let's have a look. I've done some preparation here. I'm right up into the printer here so you can see and you see this here this is the hinge clip what you have to do is get approximately the center of the printer there with this door down obviously to show you that door that door comes down you want the center just under here there's a gray strip and you stick the clip onto it like that so it angles like that and we're going to close that when we've got the piping in and then over here We've got another one here that clips there so you stick those two clips on to start with i put them on uh, first so it saves a bit of time in the video and i've got to get a good view of the video so what we're going to do now is put the cartridges in now you've got to make sure that the uh, printer is switched off here because we don't want anything trapping your fingers and breaking them and you'll see that the printer carriage is here to the right hand side and when it's switched off you see you can move that freely by hand just hold that clip up move it across there out of the way so we can get the cartridges in and we've got the two cartridges here the black and color they go in that order just feed them through that gap there around the back oops i dropped it there and back through the front like that we've got the cartridges there and now we can move that carriage back across to the right and we clip the cartridges into place just as you would normally that's a black in and there's a colour your CIS will already come with a little thing there to hold the piping into place and the piping comes off to the left of the cartridges you need to keep it nice and straight make sure there's no twists come across to the left curl it over and click it under there into that clip that clip will hold it up then the the uh, piping comes out of the front here and if you just follow the camera I'm here by myself so I'm having to do it all by myself I'm going to clip it into there Oop. right that's the piping held into place there so you come off to the left from the left of the cartridges make sure there's no twists up into the clip clip it up come out to the right and into the clip on the right hand side so that's the routing for the piping i'll show you about the door in a minute just want to make sure you've got the routing right though a little bit of give there it's trial and error really if you look at that you'll get a good guess anyway that's about the right amount what what is it let's let's have a look from there to there to there six inches about six inches little droop there but you soon be able to tell if it's okay once you move it and we can easily tell we'll get hold of this here the carriage we'll push it across to the right as far as it'll go to make sure that it's got there and it has we've got the perfect amount straight away there so just get hold of it again with your finger and pull that back across there now the cartridges are in the piping's in place we're going to switch the printer on and see what happens now we've got the Swinter printer switched on, sorry, and it's going through its motions. And while it's going through the motions, we've got to see that the, it won't work properly because the door is down. Here, the door's down, so the cartridge will stay across this side in the end. It goes through its start-up motions, but it will eventually rest the cartridges on this side here. That's because the door is down, and it can sense that the door is down. And I'm going to show you exactly where the sensor is. This here is the sensor that goes into there that bit there goes into there it touches the thing and the printer then thinks the door is shut so just so you can see it working with the door open and I'll show you how to do the door in a bit I'm going to put a bit of paper in there so that the printer thinks that the door is shut it's going through its motions again Maybe I ain't got the paper in the quite the right place. 
there it is the printer is, is, is picked it up now i had the paper in a slightly wrong place there about two mil out but now you can see well, it's trying to pull the paper through and i've got the door down so it's struggling to get the paper through i'll just press the resume there help it through the paper there it's got the paper this is pretty poor paper as well really it's maybe the fault of the paper more than anything but you can see there it's doing its alignment page and it's printing it perfectly well, that's going there and it's printing perfect there so we'll now go on to see how you do the door now back now i just said to go on to the door we've got the uh, piping into place and everything we've all got to do is shut the door so that the printer knows that the door is shut now we've got the piping coming under here under this little bobble thing here it comes up there and round the right and into this clip here now this door does go up but what you've got to watch at this end it will trap the piping over here we don't want to trap it drop the camera there we don't want to trap it too hard but the door will close with that piping in there if we push it up gently and then just clip it in at the left here there just clip that in that's got the sensor in and you'll hear the printer is now going through its setup procedure I think it's about ready let's see if it prints with the door closed They have just printed, uh, clicked print on the printer, on the computer, sorry. And let's see if it's printed. This paper's pretty rubbish, so I'm going to have to, have to help it. There, there you go, look, printing perfectly. Just lift it up so you can see it. There you go. So that's a pretty easy setup, that one. The... Uh, PSC 1510 there it's all falling all over the place you can see it printing everything's okay there print away happily you'll save a fortune with your CIS now let's just have a look at a couple of things before we finish on the right hand side here next to it you've got your, your bottles now you've got your small bungs out the top here you take your small bungs out and leave your big ones in the bottom you'll get some little air filters that push in the top I forgot to put them in but if you look at my other videos you'll see them just little filters that push in there to stop the ink flying everywhere if you knock it but it still lets air in so you'll need them in there when once that's out you will need to put a bit more ink in there but you get full instructions how to do it you want to be about here and don't ever let your ink go too low about 15 20 mil up you need to start topping up there's full instructions on how to top up when you get the kit and one final thing it must these bottles must be on the same level as the printer on the table do not lift them up higher than the printer and don't put them below they're balanced to be on the same level if you lift them up you're going to get ink pissing through all over your printer and ruin it so make sure they're on the same level so any problems, the phone number's coming up anyway. Thanks for watching.